we're not talking about that. that no, is, we're never talking about we're that. We're never talking about that ever. <laughs> we're talking about Children of the Sea. So, Children of the Sea is the latest feature length film to be. Uh, I don't know why I said it that way. It actually uh, is a feature length film. <laughs> I guess because it's late and you're, I, it, I, it is late. you're like hitting that sleepy phase. It's like 3 a.m. It is not 3 a.m. So, Children of the Sea is the latest feature film to be released by G Kids and Shout Factory. It is the baby pet project of Ayumu Watanabe, who has come up previously as the director of the After the Rain anime, mm -hmm. which you've seen, uh -huh, yeah. but I haven't. We watched the movie, though. Right, but you were holding out on me with the anime. Yeah, I specifically yeah. would wait until you fell asleep and then watch it yeah. at night in bed. Yeah, and then you canceled our Amazon Prime subscription so that I couldn't watch yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah. it was like, strategically planned. Exactly. It is not just directed by Ayumi Watanabe, but also it has a soundtrack by Joe Hisaishi, mm -hmm. who has done almost every film by Hayao Miyazaki. Maybe every single one. I think every one. At least everyone. They would are definitely Ghibli. like, like this. yeah, yeah. Like, no spoilers. Don't worry. No, no spoilers. Um, the film is about a young woman who meets two young men and their adventures during one of her summer vacations. And yeah. I mean, obviously, the ocean is involved. And there are children. <laughs> there are children. That's about it. There, there are lots of sea creatures, actually. Part of the uh, the bonus content mm -hmm. revealed that there are, was it over 40 or 40? I can't remember. Somewhere around 40. Yes, at least 40. At least 40. We'll yes. say that, yep. At least 40 mm -hmm. um, marine creatures mm -hmm. make an appearance in this film. <laughs> no, so that is, that, that is one thing about this movie. Um, we went into it, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if I can speak for both of us. I think maybe I can. <laughs> we went into it expecting one thing, and we got something completely different. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be, like, A Letter to Momo, or, like, Rider Wave, or, like... Yeah. You know, I... It would just be kind of like a slice-of-life type deal. Mm -hmm. I had this, like... Like, you're talking about this this notion. It was going to be, like, Ride Your Wave. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't. It was not. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. It dove a lot deeper. I think I was going in expecting kind of like a literal movie. Yes. And I think what it turned out to be was there is a lot of metaphor. It kind of, it uses the imagery and the idea of the ocean to describe a lot of things about being human. Yeah. And about recognizing your place in the world and in the universe. And it becomes a lot more existential than I would have ever expected. Usually I prefer to, to watch movies that have like a definitive story. There's not a lot of analysis involved. You don't have to think a lot. Not always. Like, I mean, a perfect example being this. And I tend to be like, I need to ponder it and let it sit and think about it for a long time. And mm -hmm. so when I'm watching a movie, I'm too focused to be able to be thinking. Right. So right. anyway, that's a tangent, but I enjoyed this one. That's good. Even though yeah. it was not at all, I didn't think it was coming. I didn't know it was coming. I think a really good way to describe this movie is one of the ways that the, the CG director yeah. um, was talking about how you should watch this movie from your heart yes, and not from your mind. I really like the style. They, they did a, a really well done marriage of CG animation and traditional animation. I know like, there are some parts where you can be like, oh, that, that's CG. But in the special features, there was a like, series of composites that showed, you know, here are the like half a dozen different shots that are being put together for this one scene. A lot of the scenes that they showed were ones where I didn't notice it at all. Yeah. So for every scene where you do notice it, there's probably like 10 where you don't. Where you're not noticing it at all. Because it's so well integrated. Yeah, actually the the, the bonus material was really neat for learning mm -hmm. about how they did the animation. Yes. Because they they used so many different programs and like in, used methods of integration with all these different programs. So so there's an interview with Joe Hisaishi. Yes. On, and I, it was funny because while I was watching the movie, I wasn't like actively thinking like, oh, the music is different you know mm -hmm. like but i i definitely 
at, at least one or two points, I was like, I'm surprised there's not more music here. It come to find out through the interview with Joe Hisaishi, it that was purposeful. I just I think it's really cool that he has a strong enough um, style and voice that it comes through even when he's doing something different from anything that he's necessarily done before. I'll say oh, this kind of jumping back to the animation. I don't know how to describe it. Like, yeah, it's not like clean, crisp. There's a reason for that. And they talk about that in in the extras. Right. So right. I I really like that the homage in the way it was constructed. Mm -hmm. I think some people would be like, oh, the animation is ugly. Yes. Like it's but yes. I think in a lot of ways this kind of breaks boundaries, mm -hmm. like in terms of animation, in terms of musical accompaniment. There are going to be certain people who are turned off just by how it looks. I would agree with that. But there's a lot going on, and I still think you should give it a shot, even if you're not necessarily too keen on how it looks initially. As much as I enjoyed it, I don't think it's for everyone. I, I, I don't know what to expect, because I, I can see, like, reviewers being like, oh, yes, yes, this is an amazing film. You know, like, I could see that, but I could also see, pe see people being like, this is vapid and there's nothing here. The directors even touch on that. Like... They, they do. They said in their interview, like, we we had an idea of what this is about, mm -hmm. but it's also designed so that anybody can have their own take on it. So I guess if you really are like me, <laughs> um, and you don't like movies that are meant to be interpreted, this might not work for you, but I really enjoyed it, but that's coming from somebody who just really likes to look at pretty anime. Mm -hmm. And there's so much you can think about and so much you can explore. And I, I honestly feel like it has a lot of rewatch value because you can go in, you know, from different angles. And mm -hmm. so I, I think it's one that if you like it, you're really going to like it. Yeah, I think if you're looking for something that is more cerebral or surreal, you'll probably like what you find. And if you like, if you're looking for something that's more experimental in terms of art style, and kind of even in terms of storytelling. So if you're in one of those camps, I'd say definitely watch it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're outside of those camps, then at least give it a shot because the story and the art are both like elevated enough that even if you don't like one, the other might be enough to make it a good movie for you. Yeah. Obviously we don't have no the DVD. Because 2020 it's, happened. Right now we're receiving our... A lot of our review copies over the internet. Yay for the existence of the internet. As we've already mentioned, we have watched the content that comes with the movie. You basically get two boobies. <laughs> there's, yeah. There's like, yeah. there's so much. There's, there's a lot. so much that, a lot. that comes with this movie. It's, it's, uh, here's, it's, it's a lot. Here, here's a list. It's, it's, there's, there's a lot. It's, 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 yeah. Because, yeah, in addition to an entire other documentary. Documentary, basically. There's, there's all these Which, interviews and, like, behind-the-scenes stuff. There's there's a lot. In regards to the, like, other, like, documentary thing, like, if you like Cerebral, you will love that. Yes. If you want a bunch of things to think about, yeah. that will give you all the kinds of things to think about for a very long time. Yeah. In a way, watching the extras mm -hmm. made me have a deeper understanding and also appreciation for what went into making the film. It was crazy to learn that they took a five volume manga and turned it into a two hour movie, but it did make me feel like I am very curious about this manga. <laughs> Are there parts that I'm missing that might fill in some of the gaps? Yeah, that, that were that, dropped for that time. Were, yeah. yeah. Now you gotta do it. <laughs> Then you're, then that's how you're, well, you go like this, and then like, it goes like that, and like, there's like a... <laughs> this has been um, learning how to adjust your glasses with Cinema Nippon. That was the whole point of this video. Yeah, that's all you really need to know. This whole video is a giant Trojan horse yeah. just to teach you about that. Thanks for stopping by. So on that note, let us know. Um, Children of the Sea, it's out digital blu-ray dvd it's out today 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 right unless you're watching this check the links after the day that it in which posted. case it is still out today it is technically still out today so we're not lying go check it out
<laughs> let us know uh, what did you think of it in the comments below. Yeah. What, or if you haven't seen it, what do you think about it now that you've seen our review of it? You gonna watch it? You are not gonna watch it? What? What do you think? <laughs> totally forgot to mention. All the lighting is gone. This is just, this is the way it's gonna be. There is a bonus after credit scene. So if you're gonna watch this movie, watch it all the way through because there's more. It's like uh, almost like two minutes worth of content. So make sure you watch it. He's a hungry man. He needs to eat. You hungry? Hey! Hey! Aww. You're drooling. You're drooling. Okay, that was it. Bye. <laughs>